I have a friend at the University of Idaho College of Law who once described Klaus as being the face of Montana Legal Services. And she was right about that. But it's actually more than that. Um, it's legal services in the grander sense. All of us as attorneys should provide legal service to our clients. We should make uh, the law, the courts accessible to people. We should explain what's going on to our clients. We should listen to them and we should help them. And Klaus certainly does that with his own clients. He has done it as a mentor to hundreds of legal interns when they were working in um, Montana Legal Services. He's also done it to hundreds or teaching hundreds of law students at the University of Montana, both on the faculty, working in the clinical program, and teaching the negotiation skills that, that these students need. There's only a handful of Montana attorneys who do not have Klaus's fingerprint or thumbprint on them somewhere. He leads by example. He leads with kindness. It's what everybody should do. He's like the Pied Piper of reasonableness. Um, I just think he's unique in that. That the faculty at Gustavus were not interested in cookie cutter graduates. They probably listened to the students, encouraged discussion in the classes, um, encouraged, encouraged collaborative thinking. And I think Klaus has, has um, modeled that in his practice of law. He describes things well to other people, to students, to judges. Um, he does, a, he really does work collaboratively with everyone. He has a deep faith and he is my children's godparent. He's an incredible individual and he is a credit to the status. He's just wonderful. And Karen's right there in lockstep with him too. And, and I should mention that the reason I practice law is because of Klaus. I wanted to be just like him.